If you're looking to learn how to play World of Warships Legends, then congratulations, you've come to the right place. Hello, I am Zarkoon, and welcome to the introductory video of my new series of guides and tutorials for World of Warships Legends. I'm calling it Naval Boot Camp. The purpose of this particular introductory video is to explain what this series is and how it will work so that I can link this video as a reference in every subsequent video of the series, and in that way I can avoid explaining the mechanics of the format in every video and just focus on giving you the information you need to start getting good. I will also cover the most basic concepts of unlocking and upgrading both ships and commanders so that this introduction can function as sort of an FAQ for anyone who has questions on those topics. Now, as to how this series will work, well, in the main menu of the game, you can see the ships tab here, and if you click on it, you will see the tech tree ships. Now, the ships in this game are divided into national tech tree lines, which are free to play and unlock for all players in this free to play game. There are four classes of ships. We have battleships here, destroyers here, cruisers here, and finally aircraft carriers here. I will pick what I believe is the most beginner-friendly line for each class and do a series of videos covering the ships of that class from Tier 3 all the way to Tier 7. At Tiers 3 and 4, I will offer the most basic beginner tips and also go over commander builds that will be accessible for new players. I will use only the free commanders in this game and none of the ones that you have to pay for since all of the paid commanders right now at this time are not available for purchase and some of them may never be available again. Therefore, they aren't obtainable for new players and it wouldn't make sense to design a series of tutorials around commander builds that new players can't even use, right? And then at tiers 5 and 6, I will offer more intermediate tips and cover my preferred commander builds. Those preferred builds will again include only freely obtainable commanders, as with the lower tier ships. And then finally at tier 7, I will cover more advanced tips for each class of ships. I will begin this series with the Battleship class, since that is my favorite class of ships and the class I really started grinding when I first began playing this game. But if you're wondering why you should listen to me, I'll give you my credentials now. I began playing this game in June or July of 2019, which is a few months after it was released, and in the time between now and then, I've racked up nearly 10,000 battles. So I have a lot of experience with this game, and I think as you can see from my stats page here, the stats are pretty solid. I won't claim to be the best player out there, but I certainly know what I'm doing. And I am also a community contributor for World of Warships Legends, meaning that I have an affiliation with the developers. They loan me the new premium ships that they release so I can make videos on them and they support me by providing me with access to certain in-game resources that help me create content for my viewers. So there you have it. Now that I've explained how this series will work and who I am, I'll wrap up this particular video by explaining how unlocking tech tree ships work, and I will tell you how to acquire the commanders for your ships. In subsequent videos of this series, I may refer back to the topics I cover in this segment while talking about commanders, ships, and all the general stuff that you need to know when you first start out in this game. So first, unlocking ships. Again, the ships are all divided into tech trees, and everybody starts off with free access to the Tier 1 ship, which is always a cruiser for all of the nations that are in the game. And what you do is you play this tier one ship in a number of player versus AI battles. You grind enough resources and then you are able to unlock the next ship in the line and also play in player versus player battles. Now the resources, I took out a tier one ship, the Albany, and I played a game in it against bots so that I could show you the economy tab. 
This is where you will be rewarded with in-game currency. I suppose there are four types. We've got credits there to the left, ship XP there to the center left, global XP to the center right, and commander XP to the far right. Now, you can see your totals of these currencies up here. There is the credits, the global XP, and the commander XP can be found in the commander's tab. It's signified by that blue star there in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. At this point in time, I have 1.354 million commander XP. And then the ship XP will be shown to you on the play tab. If you go into the upgrades and loadouts, you'll see that there is a line connecting the Albany to the St. Louis with a slot for some upgrades in the middle. Essentially, when you start playing the Albany, this white line between the Albany and the St. Louis will fill up and a number will show you the amount of commander XP. Once you get enough XP, you will reach the St. Louis. It will become available for you to unlock and you will unlock it by purchasing it with the credits. And then you will continue to move through the tech tree that way until you unlock all the ships in the game. Once you get to the tier two, you can split off to the destroyers if you want, which start at tier two, or you can grind up to the tier three cruiser. And then once you finish grinding the tier three cruiser, you can move on to battleships or again, continue with the cruiser line. As far as commanders go, you obtain commanders once a week by completing the weekly boost mission. These will award you with one commander container. And I will show you the commander containers here. Let's see. I can't quite purchase one, but when you do purchase one, it will appear in the open container section. You open the container, and what it will do is give you one of the free commanders. Now, the free commanders are all these historical figures like Norman Scott and William Sims. And the paid commanders are these sort of cartoon carriers, like characters rather, like Ezerlane Baltimore or King Kong. None of these cartoon guys will appear in the commander crates. It will only be these free to play historical naval figures. Every time you get a commander crate, you will always get a new commander that you don't have until you get all of the free historical commanders in the game, at which point those crates will start giving you duplicate commanders. You can also buy commanders in the store under the commanders tab for 900,000 commander XP each. Obviously, it will take you a long time to grind to that much commander XP. Maybe not as long as you think. So for now, for the beginning, you'll have to get your commanders from those containers that you can get for free by completing the weekly boost mission. Now, once you have a commander, you upgrade it in the following way. So every nation starts off with a base commander. And this commander, George Dewey, is the base commander for the Americans. For the Japan, Japan, you also have Togo Hayachiro. He's the base commander for them. For the British, it's John Jellicoe. For Germany, it's Reinhard Scheer. For France, it's Louis Dufournay. For the Russians, it is Nikolai von Essen. And then finally, for the Italians, it is Inigo Campioni. You get access to these, what is that? six base commanders just by starting up the game they're available to you all the rest of them you have to get out of crates or buy from the store and the way you upgrade these commanders is you go into their profile you can see this line of ranks here on the left you can go through this line of ranks by getting commander xp and promotion orders promotion orders are obtainable sometimes by just buying them in the store or more easily by completing certain missions that appear every now and then in the missions tab and also by going through the various campaigns that happen roughly once a month basically just look at all the missions available to you in the missions tab and see if any of them reward you with promotion orders 
Those are missions you'll want to do by following the directives of whatever the missions say. And then once you have enough commander XP and promotion orders, your goal should at first be to get your commander up to rank 7. For that, I believe you will need 5 promotion orders and uh, 35,000 commander XP if I'm not completely mistaken. Unlocking or ranking up your commander to 7 will allow you to have access to all of his skills here. And then down here, the legendary rank is given to you by using commendations. Note that there are two types of commendations. The gold ones are personal commendations. You only get those by getting a duplicate commander. And again, you're not going to get a duplicate commander for a long time. But there are also the blue commendations, which are universal and can be used for any commander. So we have one gold commendation or personal commendation for Campione. We will use it to upgrade him to legendary rank one. And there you can see we have access to this row of skills now. Another reason you want to get your commander up to rank seven as soon as possible is because you unlock an inspiration slot. Now every commander has a base inspiration. In the case of Campione, it reduces damage to your ship by a certain percentage. And what you can do is go into the inspirations you can find a commander, say George Dewey, the base commander. Notice that his base skill is to increase torpedo detectability range. And you can put him as an inspiration on your commander. And George Dewey's base skill will now influence this commander build. And then you have a series of skills here on these base commanders that can be used across all the different ship classes. But then you have more specific commanders like Paolo di Revel, who is a battleship focused commander. All of his skills go toward improving battleships, and he of course can be used on only the Italian battleships. There aren't many of them, there are only two. Both of them are premium, so we don't really need to worry about that. And then we have cruiser specific commanders like Francesco Mimbelli. His skills are all geared toward cruisers. And most of the nations, like let's say the Russians, have sort of two commanders who are good for each class of ships. For example, Trubetskoy here and Gurin are destroyer commanders. Kedrov and Galar are battleship commanders. And then Kuznetsov and Makarov are cruiser commanders. Von Essen is the base commander that can be used on any class. So... That is how you get commanders, upgrade them, unlock them, and also how you unlock and upgrade ships. Hopefully you found that information helpful. But that is all for this introductory video of this series. In the next video, we will begin going through the tech tree lines, starting with a tier 3 tech tree battleship of a specific nation. I will reveal to you what that nation is and what that battleship is in the next video of the series. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Be sure to give this video a like if you found it useful, and subscribe so you don't miss any of the future installments of this series. Again, thank you so much. Goodbye for now.